Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator. In the last part, we dueled a couple of fairly uh, unsur fairly surprisingly easy duelists. Allied Justice Garadog and uh, Familiar Possessed Area. This one was fairly easy and I expected it to be fairly easy. So The, the uh, Allies of Justice I didn't expect to be so easy thanks to the fact that it's a fairly significant hard counter to my archetype. Anyway, this time we're going to be dueling Guardian Sphinx, who I imagine, just guessing here, probably uses a rock type um, bounce deck. As in, it's full of the rock type monsters that force your, your cards back into that, back into your hand. Which will make it this very annoying. Draw. <clears throat> It's important in this. Uh, bleh. It's important in this um, set in the, against against a deck like the deck I expect this Guardian Sphinx to have to be aggressive at all uh, as as quickly as possible. Yep, there we go. It's already started. Cards that's going to return monsters to their owners' hands. Well. I can deal with that. Draw. I summon Lila, Light Sworn Sorceress. I will not activate her special ability because I don't need to. Now, Garoth can attack that face down monster. It's a penguin soldier. Yep. Saw that one coming. Thankfully, this penguin soldier is now gone. My monsters are back in my hand, but it doesn't matter. You gain a bit of life points, doesn't matter. That penguin soldier is now gone. He can't use it again unless he revives it and then flips it back face down. Or like brings it back to his hand, I guess. From the graveyard. But we'll see. We'll see if that's possible. I have a feeling this is going to take quite a while. Draw. I activate Realm of Light, which gains a uh, shine counter every time cards are discarded. And then... Um, Blech. It gives my monsters 100 life uh, attack points per shine counter. And it also can remove two to destroy it, to, to uh, fix itself. That is a stone, uh, a, a, a guardian statue. I think that's a guardian statue. No, it's a golem sentry. Yeah, uh, this thing can flip itself, can flip summon itself to return a monster to the owner's hand. That's okay. My Lila is going to discard cards, and Realm of Light is going to gain a Shine Counter, which will boost her attack up to 1800. Now what? You're probably going to tribute that to summon a... presumably a Guardian Sphinx. Just guessing. This is, that's generally the... Uh, the uh, that, that is generally the, uh, the, the, the normal outcome, uh, outcome of, this, of this deck. Or attempted outcome, at least. So I got rid of a Jane, and a Celestia, and a Garoth. So I'll summon a Garoth in attack mode. It's fine. This face down monster is likely to deal me uh, reflected damage. However, I need to get it face up so that it can't be flip summoned to force another card back to my hand. At least not this turn. Or all of my monsters, rather. Basically, this thing has to be attacked every turn, unless... Okay, another shine counter for my Realm of Light, and Garoth gets uh, more cards. And another shine counter. So, I need to push on this, uh, on this guy as quickly as possible. I need to push through his defenses as fast as possible. You're going to flip that Guardian Sphinx back face down. That's okay. That is okay. I don't mind about that. Because you can't flip it up this turn. Oh my god, you can. What? I didn't realize that. Shit. Well, that's a problem. Uh, well. My monsters are back in my hand. Lovely. Well, I'm going to... I'm going gonna, gonna to have to put a stop to that, I'm afraid. Oh no, 1700 damage. Ouch. Doesn't matter, it's only damage. 
Right, let's draw. Okay, I can throw down a light spiral. I can throw down a glorious illusion. I can... Uh, I can special summon a judgment dragon in attack mode. Um, I shouldn't have put those de those down. Oh well, it doesn't matter too much because now all of your cards are gone. Goodbye, and my realm of light stays because uh, it had shine counters on it. <laughs> all the cards on the field, of, other than Judgment Dragon, are destroyed. That was a dark bribe. You couldn't. You could have stopped my special summon. Oh no, no, Dark Bribe only activates on, on uh, Spells and Traps. That's okay. It's okay. Doesn't matter. What do I have in the graveyard that I could possibly uh, get out of the graveyard by means of Lumina? I can do that. I'll summon Lumina, Light Sworn Sorceress, and then I will activate her special ability. I discard um, my Necro Gardener to bring to the field a Jane. Light Sworn Paladin in attack mode. And then I'll attack you with all, the, all three of these monsters. My deck is likely to be very thin by the end of this turn. Unfortunately. Yeah. However, all of my monsters will be stronger by the, by the end of it. Thanks to... Uh, my Realm of Light card. I end my turn. Jane discards two cards, which gives another shine counter to Realm of Light. Wolf gets a special summon, because he was discarded from the graveyard, uh, from the deck. Lumina discards three cards, which gives another point to Realm. Judgment Dragon gives four, which gives another point to Realm of Light. Hurrah. <laughs> well... That's a Lightning Vortex. Well, isn't that just lovely? That's got rid of all of my monsters. Well, that's annoying. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. And now... It happens the same. Unless I get another Judgment Dragon now. No, I do have a Solar Recharge, though. Do I, do I have another Judgment Dragon in my deck somewhere? Or is it in my graveyard, having been, dis been discarded? No, it is in the deck. Okay. Solar Recharge. I discard Wolf from my hand to draw two cards. Ooh. Nice. Perfect. I special summon Judgment Dragon. Nice lucky draw there. I activate Judgment Dragon's eff effect. It destroys all other cards on the field. There go your, goes your Golem Sentry, and my Judgment Dragon can hit you for the remainder of your life points. Goodbye. Blog. There go 3,000 life points. You are now done. Goodbye, Guardian Sphinx. I expected this to last a bit longer, but I have another duelist to fight, so I'm going to fight him. I still haven't spent any of the money that uh, any of the money that I've uh, been winning. But I have a feeling I'm probably going to be spending a fair chunk of it fairly soon on the tournament mode, which will be si which we which I will be showing off in the next part. Should we win against Horus? So, without further ado, we shall duel against Horus now. This could be difficult. Hor the Horus. Uh, <clears throat> this could be difficult in that it's a high level uh, duelist. And the Horus archetype is pretty good. It's dragons, and it is uh, focused on negating, say, spells. Hor the Horus line in particular negates all spells on uh, while it's on the field, or at least, in some cases, uh, negates all spell effects on it on the field, possibly. I will not play Realm of Light quite yet, because I don't need it yet. And I don't want it. Accent I don't want it destroyed by by uh, this guy. Okay, he's playing defensively currently. This could be 
a good thing or maybe not? I don't know. We'll see. Draw. I have a solar recharge and I can't do anything with it yet. That's annoying. I don't have any of the monsters. Uh, Garoth will attack your face down, monster. That's a Gravekeeper Spy. Lovely. Gravekeeper Spy allows him to summon another Gravekeeper's monster from the graveyard. Uh, from the deck, rather. Not the graveyard. That's an advantage, obviously, because Gravekeeper Spy is a very strong defensive unit, having 2,000 defense. It'll block most level 4 or lower monsters. So this is probably going to end up being a fairly stally match as well, unfortunately, at least at the moment, before I get rolling. Draw! That's a giant Shrenade. It's also not useful in this situation, unfortunately. Uh... Well, I can only I can but try these face downs. That's a marshmallow. On. This is literally just a stall deck. What is this? My guess is it's stalling for a particular uh, spell or something. I imagine either that or he's going to tribute some things for Horus level eight, all in one go. That could be it. Don't know. Well, he's certainly tributing tributi marshmallow on for Horus level six. Well, there we go. That was exactly what I had worried about. So this card is unaffected by spell cards. Oops. And uh, during the end phase of the, of the turn that this card is destroyed a, destroyed a monster by battle, you can level it up to level 8. I will not give you that satisfaction, I'm afraid. Torrential Tribute! This blows up all monsters on the field. And it's a trap, not a spell. So you are gone, my friend. Sorry about that. Uh, it's his turn. Okay, we'll see what's... He's not doing anything. Okay, draw. That is a Jane. Jane is okay. Better than nothing, that's a certain. Jane will attack that face to, uh, uh, attack his life points directly. That face down is a trap card or spell or trap card. What am I thought? What am I talking about? I'll let my turn there. I have six cards in my hand. It's annoying. Oh damn it! I, I, I should have uh, set set realm of light up to take advantage of Jane's discard. Oh well, I can do it this turn. Well, no matter. Don't have a monster now. I draw. That is a trap. I need a monster. Come on, give me a monster. Beckoning light, just in case. I might need it at some point now. I am my turn. I don't have any monsters. I don't have any monsters. This sucks. He's going to summon another Horus level 6. Yep, thought so. Well, I can block you for this turn at least. Magic Cylinder! This deals you damage equal to the monster's attack points that you attack me with. I draw. That's a wolf. That is fairly worthless, unfortunately. Well, at least I can use it for solar recharge. I discard my uh, wolf, lights one beast, to draw two cards, and then discard two more. I forgot to activate uh, Realm of Light again. What did I get discarded? Ryko, Ryko and Bolinus Trap Hole. That's all right. I, ha I do at least have a monster to use now. And I can summon Judgment Dragon when I want, which will be now. I activate Realm of Light! Field spell. I also don't actually. I'm not going to activate Realm of Light. I'm going to use Giant True Nade to return all of the all of the uh, spells and traps that we had out to our hands. I will special summon Judgment Dragon and activate its special ability. For a cost of a thousand life points, it destroys all other cards on the field. And now I activate Monster Reborn. I can revive any monster from either graveyard that I want. So I'm bringing back... What was that? That's an Arcana Force Zero. It's another stalling card. I'm not having that, my friend. I'm not having that. I'm bringing back Garoth Lights War Warrior in attack mode, because I can. And no, I won't activate uh, that special ability. I will instead... 
destroy this foe of mine. That was far easier than it had any right to be, especially given my awful starting hand. I'm very lucky to have had. Uh, I'm very lucky to have um, to have had such an easy time on of of that. I had no right to it. Oh well. It's nice. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. In that case, seeing as I've defeated Horus the Black Flame Dragon level eight, where we will be diving into the tournament mode at last. Tournament mode, of course, is a. Uh, just like okay. well, a... Well, we'll see in the next part. I'll see you guys next time when we dive into tournament mode. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye, everybody.